Yo guys, what is up? This is PNT Gaming and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do Clash Royale video guys and I've not done one for a while. So if you really appreciate this content, go smash the subscribe button down below. Make sure to leave a like as well. I'm gonna, I am I want to try and get to 10 likes before I release second, the, the next next video really. So, um, so guys, today we're going to review this deck. Um, so deck I sort of made copying other people, but then changing, making my own changes. Um, you know the drill. So what I'm gonna do is oh, actually um, the lightning spell should be in there as well. It is quite expensive deck, if I'm honest to you, and and this ice spirit should be there. So it's 4.6 elixir, but when it works, it does take you to give you three to three stars most of the time. Uh, it's a heavy attacking deck, but at the same time, there's quite a few defending cards in there. Um, so the main card is obviously the Goblin Hut, which is a new meta card by the sounds of it Everyone's using it. Everyone's just like yeah, it's an insane card So let's try it out see how well it is not played Clash, like Clash Royale properly in a while So I'm not gonna be as good so guys if you any any of the pros any of the good one good guys So then please don't judge me or actually give me some tips of how to improve my gameplay So let's just get into the game uh, live game against uh, level 11, so he's a little bit level below us, which is good. So hopefully we can get a decent, uh, decent win. Hopefully, so Goblin Hut, which is a great start. That's what how that's how I like it. We we'll start chipping on this tower. He needs to do something about it, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I could have put a lightning spell there, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just gonna put, and that's exactly why. So lightning spell against that elixir just to get rid of it. See you later. Nice, nicely done. So we're gonna put baby dragon just to tank for these goblins and hopefully do some chip damage to the tower again. He does have a an inferno tower dragon, so that inferno dragon is, if I'm honest, you not gonna do a lot. He's gonna be taken out by a goblin um, spear goblins, and we're in good place so far. All right, so let's keep it up. Let's see how well we can do. So don't really have any anything else who so does have a golem which will will start the golem there um, it is a bit early to start this golem um, I usually start at around sort of minute what well, 70 seconds to go so minute 10 left uh, but this time I decided to start it earlier so let's put a goblin hunt there to get this golem towards us get a few goblins trying to defend this as well and then uh, we'll start uh, we'll try and take this uh, this golem down with a mini pecker that uh, mach flying machine will take out our goblins so baby dragon to, to sort of deal with the uh, little bats in there and the rest of the troops um, unfortunately he's gonna probably take that tower down uh, if I'm honest to you because of that flying machine which is just too good I uh, should have added to the to my actual actual deck but this time um, I didn't do it unfortunately so my spirit to take out the right hand side push which is again a very good push and um, he's that he's done a lot of damage to our right hand side tower which is not great as usual um, so we need to keep it up really well need to sort of put pick it up a little bit so a minute left and that's why we start a golem push again so um, golem on the left He's gonna put it on the right. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna put a goblin hut just on the left as well. Um, I know, probably not the best, but we're gonna go for free star because he's going f for our second tower. We need to win this. If we want to win this, we need to go for the free star electro dragon. Um, give it here. We we do need that lightning spell, uh, which is gonna take out this um, flying machine and the re and and the inferno dragon which is good see you later that's that's what we like to see that goblin hut is going to keep him going for a little bit longer can we get the rest of the can we get this free star now i don't know if we can um he's he's there's a lot of cards on his on his side um can we get this yes we can three stars and that's a nice little win it's a bit of a um disgusting one not gonna lie not the most beautiful wins but three stars right that's what we like to see so um right so man we're up to four, five thousand three hundred and thirty five trophies um ever best season is five thousand seven hundred so you know we're, we're we're close we're getting close to that sort of stage um all right so next up let's go into another match really um i like to should we play classic challenge is it good enough for a classing challenge? I don't probably don't. I don't think so. So let's just go into another ladder match. See whether we can get another win and end it there. Right. So playing against a level twelve this time. We do have a goblin hut. 
which we can place in the middle again, which is a great start, as you've see, seen in the previous uh, matchup. Uh, there is a witch coming on the left. Do I put a lightning spell on her? I don't, I'm not going to question myself. I'm just going to wait for a little bit, just hopefully to have something else in there. <sighs> oh, I'm not going to kill that witch. That is the trouble. Okay, so Electro Dragon. Um, Electro Dragon, ah, oh, damn, that's not, that wasn't even needed. Um, unfortunately, that Princess is going to take out uh, Electro Dragon, which is always not great. I'm going to put Baby Dragon just to hopefully distract the Princess um, from those Goblins, because I thought the Goblins would go the other way, but unfortunately, that was it. Uh, so we do manage to get a little push on the left-hand side with the Baby Dragon and the one got Spear Goblin, which is not good enough. The Night Witch will need to get in, into um, defensive mode and uh, really take out these Goblins. Unfortunately, the Fireball, it, it's just got higher level cards, unfortunately, so you know you can't really play against those ones. Um, all right, so Goblin, huh? come on, help us out. Good, 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 good. That's what I like to see. I like them to counter each other. Um, I do have. I'm now a bit, a bit annoyed about this one. Let's just throw this ice wizard there. Ice electro. So, ah, it's not going to work, is it? Take him out. Yes, there we go. Finally. So mini Pekka to take out this um, uh, miner on the left. I'm not looking great at the moment. So. All right, let's start a push. Uh, that mini pecker should have been defensive rather than attacking. Although he has put a mini pecker there on the left hand side, probably wasted for, uh, you know, something that's probably not needed. He will take that tower down, uh, which is um, good for him, and then we'll we'll start a push. So a baby dragon on the left with the golem. We'll put electro dragon in there as well, and the ice spirit. Uh, the baby dragon should take out the uh, uh, the any any fire spits coming down. Uh, we're then gonna. I'm then gonna lightning spell everything, um, the princess and the witch, but that's not gonna do much, unfortunately. And he's gonna take out a golem this time, and we're gonna take an L um, in the second match, unfortunately. So, um, Mini Pekka, take this miner out, and we'll probably go into the third match just to sort of. Uh, well, try out this this deck for three matches straight, and then see whether it's any good really for for yourselves. Uh, like I said, it's probably better for lower um, lower levels, low, lower arenas. Um, but but then once you get higher up, all the meta decks come in play, and then that's where you you know you can't really win. But Royal Jan again, I uh, did lose against a Royal Jan earlier with the same deck and it looks like it's it's more of a counter deck to a Royal Giant or Royal Jan is the counter deck to this deck uh, so it's not great um, fortunately the screen was moving do apologize so right let's go into the third what's happening all right let's go into the third and final match of today so do I want to do any changes this lightning spell is a bit heavy the night I could use the night it's mm, let's see so do I put an inferno dragon there Two baby, two dragons in there. I do like it. Let's let's try an Inferno Dragon just because he helps out defensively. And then once he goes attacking, um, it's really difficult to deal for some players. So it could be a bit of you know uh, difficulty. So Goblin Hurt in the middle straight away. Uh, playing against level thirteen this time. Okay, so he's he might he's probably gonna have high levels again, um, which is really annoying. But Let's try and win against a higher level, and that's how we that's how we used to do it, anyways. So, mini Pekka to take out the wizard because I think it's the main, the biggest threat, threat really. It does have a witch as well, which is going to be very difficult to deal with, um, and does have elixir. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Um, whether that's any good for him, because the reason I'm saying that is usually. That gives us elixir, doesn't it? Yeah, it does give us elixir, which is amazing. And we can, with this kind of deck, that's not good for him. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's gonna take out. Oh, he's not gonna take out anything. So let's let's put Golem on the bridge because he's actually wasted a lot of elixir now. And we've got a few goblins stuck behind him, uh, behind the Golem. And then we just want to um, lightning spell everything. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for him to put something else on there. Oh, nice little goblins doing work. 
Uh, let's put a lightning spell on that mini pekka and the, the wizard as well. Get rid of that. And we're doing work to that right hand side tower. It looks like we're going to take out a level 13 in this matchup. Like I said, Alex, El Elixir Goblin is not the not Goblin. Elixir Golem, Golem is not really good, if I'm honest with you. Um, he does. I feel like he messes up your deck. I don't know why would you want to give Elixir to the opponent, right? Um, anyways, Baby Dragon. Um, Ice Wiz Ice Spirit, which will put a nice little start to, well, nice little finish to that um, Prince's push. Um, unfortunately, that Prince is going to pretty much take out our tower, which is not great. Uh, but then we'll have another push on the on the left hand side. So let's put um, a push or put the Golem on the left hand side, and he's going to throw a a rocket on the left hand side tower. Okay, interesting. So let's let's throw a Night Witch. Because now he hasn't, he can't take it out. We're then going to put an Electro Dragger in there. We're going to put a Mini Pekka on there as well to take out this um, a nice giant. We'll put a Lightning Spell to take out the Witch and the um, the, the Wizard. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the Lightning Spell doesn't take out the Witch, which is just unfortunate. Uh, Night Witch to to take out the Witch. For the final time, hopefully, and then we're going to take out that tower. We're going to put golem in the middle as well, we're spamming those gole golems in this matchup. 11 seconds to go, and I feel like we're going to win this game nice and comfortably. That inferno dragon is actually going to take out that tower for three stars. So three, two out of three games uh, won in this in this deck review, I should say. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like, subscribe button down below. Make sure to leave a like. Like I said, 10 likes and I'll probably get another video out for you guys as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, the main target is 10 likes uh, in for this video. I'd really appreciate all the support and uh, yeah, hopefully see you in the next episode. Peace.